All right, so we're back. Uh, a couple updates. Uh, watched some other people playing this and learned a few things I thought I'd share with you guys. Um, when you destroy buildings, like if I come here and destroy all these buildings, if we were actually to capture Eldafra, all of those buildings turn blue. And if they're destroyed, I can't repair them. And each building brings me money. So if I look at the details here, so at Cow, wherever that is, let's see, where's Cow? Uh, here maybe? Tamarin. Okay, well, we'll look at Tamarin. So each one of these buildings for me generates $4 million. So there's one, two, three, four, five. So $20 million is coming from Tamarin. So in this particular case, I bombed these three buildings, which was generating for the enemy, $6 million. But if I take over Aldafra, that's $6 million coming into my pocket. So that was kind of a wasted mission, to be honest. It was cool uh, practicing with the, the GBUs and uh, doing some GPS guided JDAMs uh, was really kind of cool. I enjoyed it, but ultimately losing $6 million a turn if and when I capture Aldafra. Uh, so yeah, that I thought was quite interesting. Uh, oops, <laughs> I didn't know that, but uh, like I said in the first, I think probably in the first video, like, I'm just gonna play it. And however I screw up, I screw up and it'll just be recorded and it'll be either humorous or painful either one or both i guess so here we're, we're back at the end of turn one we're starting turn two here we got to start spending some money here to uh replenish some losses and get those will be delivered at the beginning of turn three so we did get our order from turn ones has arrived so some of those losses were already replenished uh we can look here at the statistics and we we can see both sides are losing from turn one to turn two. We've lost quite a bit, um, but we're kind of paralleling. Their, their uh, slope is a little greater than ours, so I guess we'll take that as an advantage. Uh, some of the other things I learned, too, is in the settings, uh, you saw the frame rate crapped. It just freaking dropped. Uh, and because I do suck, I'll, I'll show you this. I got my... AI skill as excellent and the enemy skill as average, just to kind of help even the odds and as I learn. Uh, and as I get better, we can we can upgrade that. If it's too easy, we can just simply come here and make them excellent. Uh, then man pads on front lines is oh no that that was cool. Um, so you can't just like low level strafe things without popping some flares. Uh, I did select no night missions just because night missions are dark and boring to watch on YouTube. I hate them all. I turned my in-game in -game labels off so you guys can't see and I can't see labels. It's just so cheaty. I hate it. Map visibility, I only show the allies and allow external views is cool. I don't have any automation going on, so we're doing all of this ourselves. And then this is some of the stuff uh, that that I learned that, that can help. Generating infantry squads along vehicles, uncheck that. And that'll get rid of all just the, like the little dude standing there next to a vehicle, uh, which will reduce the amount of uh, AI driven things my processor has to work on simulating. Uh, and then the other thing was calling of distant units. We're going to turn that on. So anything outside of 100 kilometers from a calling space will not be generated. And it won't be in the mission, you know. And we can up that as we see. But we can look here to see, I think this is the button. No. 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 <laughs> Where's the calling? Display. Calling zones. Oh, it's this button. All right. So anything outside of these circles. So like uh, that one actually will be in, in the mission. This one is so close to the edge that it probably will. So the calling zones probably aren't going to really matter because I got such a small map. But if we were playing on the large map and there was bases over here and generating aircraft, 
that would be in the mission editor and being flown by the AI, increasing my CPU usage and decreasing my frames per second. So the calling on this is probably not that big of a deal, but we did see a pretty huge hit there. So maybe we'll we'll turn the uh, calling down a little bit, make it 50 kilometers. That seems a little cheaty, but let's see what it looks like. Yeah, I don't, I don't know. So that would basically mean that these jets here, these four jets would not be in the air. I, I, I you know, I, I don't like it um, because this is such a small campaign. It's not spreading throughout the entire map. I don't think I'm going to have the calling on. So settings, but if if my FPS is terrible, maybe we'll have to to do that. Oh, and then if you guys saw in the first video, my daughter pointed this out, and I thought that was quite funny. It said, you are a cheater. It might still be down here. Yeah, all these cheater, you are a cheater, and you should feel bad messages. Uh, when I first started this, I was just messing around. Uh, you you will see that I will not be cheating. I was just kind of playing with some of the, the different settings and the cheat menus. You can add and subtract money and blah, blah, blah. So... I'm not doing that anymore. Uh, I just, we got the starting money and we're, we're running with whatever we get. So 101 million per turn. So keep me honest. Uh, Skynet IADS is something else that seemed pretty cool, but I was getting a bunch of errors on it. So I'm, I didn't turn it on. Uh, but this makes the SAM sites, if they're getting attacked by anti-radiation missiles or harms, um, they shut off the radar. So you can't target them with anti-radiation missiles, which I thought was really, really kind of cool. Or they'd be just, they turn off their radar until you get close and like, okay, bam, here's your radar. And now you're getting shot at, at close range instead of, uh, you know, 60 kilometers out or whatever the range is. But I'll turn that on and I'll show you just, I was getting a bunch of errors, so I'm not sure how well that works. All right, so enough of that garbage. Get that out of the way. Let's play the game. All right, so first things first, I think we need to spend some money here and replenish some stuff. Um, we're getting at the edge of these, like the front line is within the danger zone of the SAM sites. So providing clo close air support is, that's bad. Uh, so I think the first thing we're going to do is, I, I can't send any CAS out right now. So we're going to have to beef up our front line here and make them defensive, expecting some losses uh, because they don't have CAS. So we're going to start with that. So we'll go to ground forces. Uh, these Paladins, the M109, I did kind of Google some of the stuff. These are, um, what were these? I think these were long range. Uh, let's do M109 Paladin. So, I'll, oh, it's howitzer. So it's a ground unit that. Okay. Uh, yeah, it's this artillery kind of stuff. So I think those would be kind of cool to have. Uh, they're pretty pricey, but let's get one. And the Abrams, they're probably good with five of them. The Strikers, having four of those are probably good. Um, Bradleys, we're probably okay with. We don't have any Strikers. We might get some of those. Uh, let's get one more of each of those. And hopefully we don't lose more than one this turn. Um, we don't have the pallet in this turn. So, and we don't have a lot of money here. Oh, and let's change this to defensive. So our posture is now defensive. We're not going to go, our guys will basically be stationary and attack what comes in range instead of going out and getting them. Yeah, we're, we're getting low because we also need some, some jets. Ugh, this is tough. This is tough. All right, let's see what we got for jets. Uh, we have eight helicopters we can use for frontline defenses, but 
with the Sam sites right there, they're just going to be blown out of the sky. We got four Hornets. That's probably okay. We'll, we lost enough 16, so we'll pull that up to make it an even four. F-15s, we'll get two of those to make that an even four. And we'll probably lose some. We only got 33 million left. Uh, we got three A-10s. Um, again, we can't use CAS right now until we take out the SAM site. Maybe that's what we do. Maybe I'll, it's it's risky. I'm going to have to take out the SAM site at Aldafra and then take out the SA-6. I think that's, it was a S-300, I think is what it was. So SA-10, I believe. Um, yeah, I think we're going to do that. So then maybe we can put some CAS up in this mission, provided I can take this out before they the CAS gets online. So let's do that. Um, okay, so yeah, we'll buy we'll buy an A10 to make it an even four, and we'll buy ourselves a horror. No, we won't. We got nine million left. Um, all right, I guess some more Humvees, or maybe we save it. Let's save the nine mil or eleven mil. Yeah, let's save the eleven mil. Okay, so that's it for purchasing. Um, we'll go ahead and save this, locking it in. And then uh, we let's create some missions. So we are going to, we're gonna attack this, this search radar to get rid of that, that circle here to allow our, at least to allow me to get into here is really what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to get rid of their anti-air defenses. So we're going to attack this. This will be me. We'll do a seed mission. And Hornet, because that's what I fly. Size 1, create. And we'll go up as soon as possible and save. Oh, another thing we can do is if we look here we can get the name as ocelot for that same site what we can do is actually go through and edit this go to our waypoints get rid of that that and that then add a waypoint on ocelot so we can do two things at once instead of We'll get the search radar. Hopefully there's only one. Ah, oh, there's two. All right. That guy. Well, that'll get us there. And then we can use our harms and then a RTB. So now if I hit done, we can have, you can see what our waypoints are going to be. Um, I don't like this hold one. We're going to just, fly straight in. So another thing that's that was kind of frustrating for me too. Let's get rid of the hold and join waypoints. Delete. Delete. And we'll keep the e ingress on just to give me time to set up anything I need to set up in the jet. Right. Uh, so that'll give us some flight time here to here before we're in enemy territory and range to do what we got to do in the jet. You know, getting the harms configured and, you know, whatever. Okay, so that's my mission. I'm going to try. Priority one is take out the donkey site. And then, which is the this red circle here to get rid of that. Then we're going to come here and get rid of that. If, if we can. If we don't die. Because, as you saw, I kind of suck. So let's talk about our payload here. We we'll use our custom payload. We'll get the 9x sidewinders on the outer wings. Centerline tank, extra 330 gallons, <coughs> and then we're just gonna harm it up. Actually, we're gonna we're gonna need some to defend ourselves a little bit too. So let's get two AM120s. We're gonna be heavy. I think C's are the best here and here. That'll give us four harms. 
uh, which are 80 something. Uh, crap. AGM somethings. It's either D or E. I'm not sure which one I need. So we'll go with D for dead. Or deed, I guess is how you're supposed to say it. Oh, no. The cheek slot's only going to have aim 120s. Or sparrows. Hmm. Well, we need harms. Okay. So we're still going to have four harms, but less aim 120s. What I can do is we do have our Patriot site here. And what's this? A Patriot site here, which is within their range too. So we can kind of like drag them closer to any, I'm, I'm thinking any cap flights that are coming up. Like if we look here, our Intel shows two SU-24s. I'm going to have to deal with them before I go on bombing runs. Um, and then we got four here. And these guys probably be a delayed, but... We'll have to deal with them for there. And those are all capped. So we got to deal with these guys. So we need we need some escorts. But the problem is that the AI is stupid. And they're going to see, you know, SU-27 over here and be like, oh, I'll go get it. And then fly in the middle of all of this where they're going to get shot at by like 16 different SAM missiles. So they don't want that. Um, maybe we just fly around for a little while here and try to get our SAM sites to blow up the enemy cap. And we'll have two, two AIM-120s and two Sidewinders for self-defense if needed. So maybe what we'll do here, can we select our chaff? No, okay. I'm thinking maybe just go all chaff instead of getting uh, any flares. But that's, that. okay, that's what we're gonna do. What else, what else do we need? So we're, we're gonna need some bar cap coming on here and I'm gonna set the bar cap here. Oops. New package, add flight, bar cap with F-16s. We have three of them. Let's send two up here. And we're going to have them like 20 minutes after a mission start. So instead of having them fly up right away, that's going to give me 20 minutes to try to thin out the herd. And then maybe even get some of this SAM activity. Like if I can get the Aldafra site, whatever, SA, whatever that is at Aldafra, it looks like SA-6, um, at least they won't be being fired at by that. This is like, if they're in this range here, that's okay. They're far enough. Hopefully they're, they're not too stupid to, to be able to defend against it. Uh, okay, so then we're gonna do another bar cap here with our F-15s. We got two of them available, so we'll send them both up. Same thing, we'll have these guys go up, go up 20 minutes after the start. So this number here is when they actually take off after mission, so they're gonna have a delayed start, and they'll be on, on Oscar Mike or on mission at 28 minutes, or on station, save. So 28 minutes, they'll be here and starting to fly up and provide cap. Okay, so with the front line here being defensive, maybe we do a new package and give our A-10s a job. Uh, let's just send, yeah, let's send two of them. And we'll have them go 25 minutes. Oops. What happened? Oh, okay. We'll have them go at 25 minutes. So the thought process there is before they provide combat air support or close air support here, we hopefully will have eliminated this 
threat, if not this threat, and our bar cap will be up and running, providing them the the bandits something to shoot at besides our A-10s, is kind of what I'm sitting here thinking. But it'll help our front line because we are defensive, so we're not going to be moving our line up, but hopefully the, the orange line, the front line won't be moving back. So that's kind of what I'm thinking for this particular mission. So our our first go, fly up, draw in all enemy cap into our Patriot sites, maybe in this area here, right? Because it's covered by that Patriot site, that Patriot site, and Aldafra's Patriot, or Lewa's Patriot site. So right here, there's three Patriot sites. So this is like a bad area for enemy aircraft to be in. So maybe for the first, you know, 20 minutes or whatever until our bar cap comes up, I'll just like try to get them in, like get their attention and bring them in here. Because I only have a couple AIM 120s. Um, What if we land and rearm? Maybe I just go heavy with AIM 120s. Now we'll, we'll keep it the way it is and we'll see how it goes. And if it's terrible, then maybe what we'll do is initially go out with cap equipment, like a bunch of air to air missiles. And then after we thin out the herd, we go land, get some bombs or rockets or whatever we need to do whatever mission we got to do to take out the same sites and then go do that. Yeah. Okay. So that's, uh, we're going to save that in, lock it in and uh, we'll see you on the, on the flight line.